So on an EV, besides fuel that you save, you save money on because you don't spend any, what else are we saving on? That's a good question. Let's find out. Sounds good. Hey, hey I'm Colin. And I'm Chris. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Amped Up, Up Sibs. So I know what it is to replace parts and do maintenance on a gas car. Yeah. I wonder what's similar, I wonder what's different, and I wonder if there's any savings to be had. Well, I think there is actually. So in a gas car, I have to change my brake pads and brake fluid. Do I have to do that? Yes, you do. But with the caveat is brake pads can last you more than double. Like average gas car, you know, the minimum I've seen is 40,000 and the maximum I've seen is 100,000. Well, an electric, the minimum starts at 100,000 and can go even above 200,000 because you've got the brake regens. Yeah. So there's a the savings. Yeah. Um, how about wiper blades and wiper fluid? Wiper blades and wiper fluid are just basically exactly the same as a gas car because they wear out from the elements and yep. weather. So okay, there's so no difference in time with those. Broken even with those. Yeah. Um, air conditioning? Yeah, you got the decusant. Uh, decusant so you got to replace. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've actually never had to replace it on my gas car but it does need to be replaced on electric at least. I know that. Yeah, I've never replaced it on my gas, so it's probably about the same as well, yeah, I'd yeah. assume. Um, how about tires? Well, that's a debate because tire, people say, oh, tires wear faster on, on EVs. Now, I, get, I, I can see where their point is, cars heavier and all that, but does it really? That's, that's still the, the iffy part because tires for EVs, if you buy EV made tires, they should actually last the same amount, if not longer. Interesting. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a video. If there's a debate, we should do some uh, research and make a video on tires. I think and we should. You're kind of the tire person. I'm the so. tire guy. Yeah. All so. right. Carrying on. Um, will I have to change a cabin air filter? Yes, you do, because that's okay. that's a normal thing for any gas or electric, because it gets dirty from the elements. So fair enough. Yep. Um, okay. What about oil? Uh, well, there's no oil in the engine because there's no gas engine, no filter. There's no okay. transmission, but there is an oil a gear reduction drive that does have oil. Okay. But it's not as often as like say your transmission would have to be serviced because it's only it's up multiple gears running and, right. and wearing out. So we're so, going to do some savings in the in the reduction gearbox. Yeah, because it'll versus... have to it'll have to be monitored, but it will have to be replaced once every so many years or, yeah, or thousands, hundreds thousands of thousands of kilometers. kilometers. Okay, so we're saving a little bit there. Yeah. Um, the coolant system. I know that there's a diff. Both have a coolant system. Yeah. I wonder which one. I would say the battery one is less maintenance. Less maintenance, yeah. Because it doesn't have so many mecha metal mechanical parts. Sure. It floats through. Yeah. And you know it, it you'll degrades. Still so you have see. to monitor that. You'll still have yeah. to maintain it and, yeah. and occasionally replace things. It plays, it I'm going to call that a works. break even. Yeah. Just because. So. Yeah. Um, they both have them. Yeah. Um, how about in my gas car, what else do I do? That's, well, that's, that's about all the... Besides, the, well, you do spark plugs with it. Oh, spark no, plugs. There's no spark plugs and no, no spark engine plugs. air and no engine air filter. Yeah, no engine air filter. Okay. Yeah. So there's there's still uh, quite yeah. a bit of savings there. There is one thing that you might like mention. There are still the suspension components. You still have shocks. You still have ball oh, yeah. joints. Yeah. You still have tie rods. Those are wear items. They're, they're the exact same on a regular gas car as on your... Electric, they will be the same, and the parts will be are usually beefed up a little bit for electric because of the extra weight. So right. wear will be about the same as well as those uh, on yeah both types of vehicles. Yeah. So I know I have to get a home charge cable. Most of cars them come, come with, with it. Stock. it. Just maintain it. You got to keep it clean and make yeah. sure there's no frays and nicks because it can get damaged if it's dragged on the ground. Yeah. You know. And so if you damage it, you're buying a new one. You that betcha. could be a cost, it but could be. I would if you take care of it, you don't. Exactly. Fairly simple. Yep. Um, 12 volt battery. Is there a 12 volt battery in an electric car? Yes, there is. The 12 volt runs other ancillaries that the big battery does not run. Right. So it runs your, you know, your stereo, your air conditioning, your heating. It helps power that up. Yeah. A it lot helps of those also in some vehicles. Powered. The 12 volt actually helps maintain the BMS so that it monitors everything right. properly. So there's that that's a break even yep still 12 volt it's probably under less duress than say 
uh, a gas and an ice or you know, a especially gas if you have engine. those auto stop start vehicles, yeah. vehicles with the programmed in where it constantly starts starts. You're take, you're taking a toll on your battery having yeah. that activated on, on ice a regular vehicle. Basis. Yeah. Okay. So. And then over the air updates have to be done, don't they? Yes, but that's at least as long as you have it set up at your home to do it every night or whatever night. You're good so there's really not a maintenance but it is something that has to be done in case mm. there's bugs or fixes that need to be taken care of yeah and that's not going to cost us any money nope just so, make sure your internet's up, uh, up and running yeah so really? I, i'm looking at the verdict here most of it is break even yep. you're saving money on brake pads and and brake fluid and such you're, so saving, your you're saving money on your oil changes you're your saving filters, money on your oil change and filters and your filters. you might be losing money on your tires that might be something we look at so but that's like i said that's piece. like i said you need to make sure you're buying ev rated tires so yeah. that's where you have to figure that out and, and do that so i think that's sure. for another video though for us oh absolutely out. so overall i think we're we're going to save money on an ev i think so too well we've looked at all of the uh, components and the maintenance thanks for watching catch you later eh